Hey guys, um, back with the next vinyl update. Another short one um, because the last video we looked at two records um, that put my fives off balance. So I'm doing another short one just to get us up to, you know, an even five and then we'll continue from there at the normal pace. Um, so to start us off in this video, we have Of Mice and Men, their debut self titled. I really love this record. It was a big deal to me in high school when it released. Um, surprisingly, not many people I, like, not many of my friends knew about um, of Mice and Men until like the Flood era. Um, but I checked these guys out after hearing Austin Carlyle had left Attack Attack and went to these guys because I was a fan of his screaming, um, and so I checked it out. So much better. It's just blows tech tech out of the water um, it's good stuff um, I was really hoping that they would press this this is the insert um, I'm so glad that they did it's one of the records that I really wanted pressed I think the foremost of that um, list is Coheed and Cambria um, Good Apollo and uh, Dayshell Dayshell self title debut record is insane. Um, but yeah, here is the record. Orange with clear and black splatter. Looks really awesome. Um, yeah, super pleased that this one got pressed. I'm very happy to have it in the collection. Next up, we have um, a release from last year. This is. Jamie XX in color. Um, this is a electric um, kind of more along EDM, I guess. Not not necessarily. No, it's not. I take that back. Um, I'm not really sure what to classify this as because I don't typically listen to a whole lot of this kind of music. Um, but I really got into this record. Um, just kind of has a little bit of everything. It's a cut, so you can see through there. Um, white little uh, notes on the back. Um, this one's on black vinyl. There is a crazy like two or three LP edition that like has colored vinyl. I think if you have a record called in color, you should probably make the vinyl some kind of cool color. But I mean. Colored Vinyl isn't one that's really about. I bought this because I love music. Found it at Barnes & Noble. Um, as I said before, I shop there a lot for records. Um, almost any time I go to the mall, I go to the Barnes & Noble there and I'll see a record and pick it up. So that's a good one. Um, Sleep Sound is the second track on here. It's probably uh, my favorite. Check out that one out. But I mean, the whole record is just pretty good. Next up is Foxing the Albatross. Um, I really, really fell in love with this record. Um, I didn't get into it the first time I listened to it years ago, or not years ago, but you know, a while ago. And um, it wasn't until after Dealer came out that I really got into Dealer and then decided to go back and check this one out. And just this one is incredible. Like it. Dealer is good, but this one's definitely better. I don't know why I wasn't able to get into it the first time. Um, my favorite song is either Inuit or um, Bit by a Dead Bee Part 1. Check both of those out. Check the whole record out. Um, if you go on a Audio Tree, their YouTube channel, and look up uh, Foxing Bloodhound slash Inuit, they do those two songs in one thing incredible performance just it's awesome um, check that out audio tree live um, boxing anyway anyway uh, back to the record it comes in sleeve with some really awesome artwork on there nothing on that side um, however it was making like the scratching noise and I was pulling the record in and out there must be some kind of something in there that I can't see um, so I got one of these generic paper sleeves to put it in uh, for the time being. Comes on like a olive with a milky clear with the olive splatter. 
looks really cool. Um, I don't know how many pressings they've done on this record, but they've done quite a few. Um, I have wanted to get previous pressings before, um, but I'm happy with this one. It's a cool color. Uh, yeah, so that's that one. Another one that I'm really happy just to finally have. I've played it quite a few times. The last one we're going to talk about is from Indian Lakes Wanderer. This is a 10 inch, if you can't tell by the size of it, to my hands. Um, this is a acoustic EP, not necessarily because there's a couple songs on here that aren't acoustic. I mean, only two are. Um, basically, you get three all new songs, Wanderer, When You're Around, and The Bad Parts. Um, when You're Around is super different. It's almost more like Civil Wars slash Iron Wine than it is from Indian Lakes. It's still good, but it was definitely unexpected. Um, the bad parts kind of reminds me of like Image and Deep, like at the beginning. Um, Wanderer is, 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 is awesome. It's what you expect from, from Indian Lakes. So check that out. Also, you get two acoustic songs off their previous record, Absent Sound. Uh, you get Ghost um, and Come in This Light. Both are awesome songs. Children are yelling outside the door. Both are awesome songs, um, and the acoustic versions are just incredible. I mean, I honestly prefer listening to the acoustic versions now that I've heard them. Um, so if you haven't checked out this five-track EP, do so. If you haven't checked out From Indian Lakes, what are you waiting for? Do that also. Um, incredible band. Uh, just a great life and everything. Alright guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this short, but in my opinion, very awesome set of records. I love all four of those records a lot. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. We'll be back with a, another five in the following week. See you guys around.